Well, great afternoon, everyone. We're back from our outing. Uh, somebody was just saying they can't wait to see the video. I wasn't taking video. There's a ton of people there. I'm trying to walk these two their first time, their first outing to socialize. And so I, th there's no way to do video and walking these two at the same time in these crowds of people with dogs and people and music and uh, strollers and kids and <laughs> you get the picture. So we get there and um, of course, Mickey sees somebody, he's going to start barking, but I get them out of the car. And what happened was when we actually got to where all the people were, the dogs, and there was so much commotion and things going on that he was just, he couldn't fixate on one thing. So he did very well. <laughs> okay. He found out that you can go walk, the dogs are not after him. The people are not after him. They're doing their own thing. Now, some people did come up and they wanted to pet them, and that was fine. Now, Miss Lily, she is just the social butterfly. She wants to go up to people, wants to go up to dogs, wants to, you know, that's just her nature. But Mickey is more reticent. He is more... You know, he walking there, he would turn around every now and again and stand up and want to be soothed and petted and say, it's okay. But he did really, really well. No barking. Okay. Um, so it, it was a good outing. Now there are two women that were working there today and say, oh, please come every week so we can see them. <laughs> I don't know how many people came up to me and said, I'd be happy to take Miss Lily home. <laughs> so um, anyway, our first socialization outing went really well. Now on the way down there, Lily was whining and whining and whining, you know, because I got them in their harness to go walk. And she goes, why are we in the car? Why are we not walking? You know, so she's complaining and whining, kvetching, and yeah. So once we got done with our walk out there, we went for about an hour, half hour up and a half hour back. And um, we get back, we get back in the car, and they're silent the whole way back. No more kvetching, no whining, no barking. Uh, so it went really well. Now today is National Pet Day. So that's why they're having the, uh, the um, potty today, P-A-W-T-Y, potty, <laughs> at Dutch Brothers. So it starts at uh, yappy time, starts at 3 p.m. today. <laughs> so I will be going back up there today about 3, 3.30 or so before I have to be back here for um, Hogali time but I will take them up for yappy time because it is National Pet Day. And they did so good today on their first socialization outing. Um, so um, I will let them have a little pup, pup treat today. Yeah, they'll like that. Now they're both here next to my feet, laying down, taking a nap at the moment because that wore them out. But it went so well, much better than I thought it was going to go. Because, like I said yesterday, in the car, he was barking at everybody, everything, nonstop. Was just going haywire, crazy. And I was like, oh my God. And then, like I said, walking him, and he saw a man across the street the other day, and he peed himself the whole way down the thing and trying to get away, and oh my God. They were freaking out. But uh, today, with so much commotion on, I, I think it just kind of, um, he had so much going on that it short-circuited his ability to focus on one person or one thing and freak out about it, okay? So it was the best thing. They did really well, Um so quite happy with that. I'll take them next week again out to the, um, 
out to the uh, farmer's market and let them walk out there. And so that will be um, a good time for them. They did enjoy it. Uh, there was there was a people out there with this great big Great Dane, and <laughs> here's little Lily and this big old Great Dane looking at her. And they're going, <laughs> But she ran right up to him, you know, she's got no fear. Now I don't let her just run up, you know, to any of these dogs out there, get close enough because you just never know. They could be friendly and then again, they could see her like a squeaky toy, okay? So uh, no, I don't let her run up to interact with them, but she, you could see she really wants to. She wants to go and play, she wants to socialize. Um, so I don't have any kind of doubts about Lily. Lily wants to socialize with people, dogs, whatever. She's happy to run up there. Mickey, like I said, he's a little more uh, fearful of stuff, but he did really, really well today. And uh, he did go up and these ladies were petting him and everything, and so that was good. Um, so that's it, you know, uh, I'll take them out next week and we'll see, I'll try to see if I can get some men to kind of interact with him a little more so that he finds out men are okay too, you don't have to fear it, you know, and um, that the dogs are okay. Uh, so anyway, really happy today. Sorry I didn't get video, but there's no way in crowds of people, dogs, strollers, kids, music. <laughs> I mean, so much going on there. Uh, I didn't have the wherewithal to walk two dogs and, and film at the same time, okay? I was too busy keeping my eye on Mickey and giving him, uh, you know, support and attention um, quite often on the way there. Now, after uh, about the first 15, 20 minutes, you know, he turned around and stand up and want to be petted, and I petted him, and it's okay, and after that, then he was fine, okay? Um, so, all good. So, that's the report on the puppy socialization experiment this morning. Thanks for tuning in, and we'll see you over at Hogali this afternoon. Thanks.